talk to you about confirmation bias and if you read the blog you're familiar with the very recent story of when I was poisoned poisoned myself I guess and what had happened is I had ingested something not was not food poisoning it was some kind of chemical poisoning and ended up feeling really weak had cold sweats it was just, it was kind of unpleasant and it got worse and worse and worse, days passed and after about a week or so my gums started swelling and then after that my gums started bleeding and they were bleeding like, I've never, well I've bled like that before but not out of my mouth, like it was just like dark red, just lots of blood and I was in a hotel in Saigon and I'd stuffed a towel in my mouth trying to stop the just gushing of blood and I saw it like coming through around my teeth it was horrible I thought I was done and I went to the best hospital in town the oldest biggest university hospital and they sent me to a specialist and this woman was a doctor he's a doctor having to do with gums and teeth and I told her I I'm poisoned like whatever's going on here is not because of my mouth it's because I am poisoned and but she saw the symptoms like she saw swollen gums and dirty teeth because I mean I couldn't touch my gums at all I couldn't brush my teeth but just for like a day or two and she thought it was periodontitis which is a gum disease you know and I, I try to explain I don't have periodontitis I poisoned myself like this is a symptom of something different but because of what she does for a living which is deal with gums and teeth she saw the symptom and to her that was just periodontitis and she prescribed me antibiotics and and anti-inflammatories which they also did a, a wide-ranging blood test and uh, interestingly enough there was no infection and there's no inflammation but she didn't even look at the blood test she just prescribed the stuff and she was like you need to clean your teeth end of story and meanwhile you know my symptoms were getting worse like I am poisoned like I'm in trouble and I asked for a liver function test and they said you don't need a liver function test but I'm like well if I'm poisoned we'll tell by my liver and long story short I ended up getting the test myself uh, contacting doctors elsewhere and we figured it out and and of course I'm still alive fortunately but the moral of the story is confirmation bias you know if you're if you believe that something will be the case you're gonna look at everything around it that you see you're gonna discard what doesn't fit your thought process and you're going to focus on the things that you believe validate your story and I'm not anti modern medicine and I'm not pro alternative medicine I'm not part of any camp but when when people talk about myopia when optometrists and ophthalmologists talk about myopia they're just like this woman that is focused on gums and teeth not seeing the bigger picture knowing what they learn in school knowing what all their peers do end of story and they won't take a step back you know, like that woman wouldn't do a liver function test even though I said I'm poisoned. This is just one of a variety of symptoms. She wouldn't hear it. And the confirmation bias is a big issue that you're dealing with when a guy like me who's not a professional comes from potentially a better place because I don't have a bias. I'm just looking for answers. And so it's really, really difficult because you can't trust alternative medicine, that, not blindly at least. You can't trust the internet, you can't trust anything, you can't trust me, right? You have to find your own answers. Like you're either gonna accept the bias from the people that sell lenses for a living or you're gonna have to investigate. And investigating means not just reading science, science is super helpful, but trying stuff, you know? Like the only way you're gonna come to meaningful answers is developing a theory and testing that theory and looking at the results. So confirmation bias is a dangerous thing. And when people ask me why a lot of optometrists just flat out deny the possibility of what we talk about, this is exactly the reason. So that's it, that's all I gotta say. If you like this video, you know the drill. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, 
and I'll see you in the next one.